Mr. Manser, the sight of your face has started to give me agita. To what do I owe the displeasure this time? I just wanted you to know my services are available for a price. Hmm, interesting. A question, though. Is it really the pay you're after, Manser, or could it be the adrenaline? Those old graybeards at the source boring the living hell out of you yet? I don't remember inviting you into my business. If you need me, just pay. A technomancer for hire. A prize indeed. Who wouldn't need such a thing? But you'll need to prove yourself first. The army has a weapon shipment heading to the front. I'd like for it to not get there. Why don't you use your rank to see that it makes an unforeseen detour to, well, me? This a test of loyalty? Fine, if that's what you need. I gotta go. Then go. Hey there, you in charge of the mutant pen? Named Zachariah Manser, Ophir officer. Hey, yeah. Pen's my responsibility. Sure. Dan Stewart, what can I do for you? Thank you. 
Hello. I have a proposal for you. A merchant is looking for a bodyguard, and you look strong. He said that he would feed you if you protected him. Big strong! Big, very strong! And big, always hungry! <laughs> Um, if I understand, your name is Beg? Yes! Beg is his name! Him wants good food and can protect man, but chief man not let Beg leave! <laughs> you mean the pen supervisor? Don't worry, I'll go talk to him. Oh, great. You're back. What do you want? I'd like to buy the mutant who calls himself Beg. Big Beg? Yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen. Losing him be like losing the work of four other mutants. Nah, he's too strong to lose. Oh, great. You're back. You weren't wrong. The supervisor doesn't want you to leave. Looks like he enjoys your strength too much. What if you refuse to work here, or initiate an incident so that he decides not to keep you? Beg not understand what men want. Hmm. If you want to go with the merchant who will feed you, you must refuse to work here. Make some noise, you see? <laughs> yes! Beg understand! Beg, make noise and refuse work! <laughs> I wonder if he realizes the consequences of what he's about to do. Better be ready to step in before something bad happens to him. What's he doing? Why is he making trouble? He'll still have to work. Beg no work more! No work more! If he doesn't stop, he'll get beaten real bad. <laughs> no! Let them beat Bank! No work more! <laughs> then he gets what he asked for. I need to step in. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You lost your minds? Break it up, you fucking parasites! Going after a human? Hell you thinking? And you? Why the hell are you back here messing up the pen? Come on, go! Get out! Look, I'm not trying to cause problems, but I already told you. I'm really interested in getting this slave. And since the others were just about to kill him... They weren't gonna kill him. Maybe beat the shit out of him as a lesson. Like I'm gonna do to you if you don't get out and stay out. Hey, hey, just listen a second. This mutant's obviously showing a little rebellious streak. Leave him here. That streak might spread to the others, you know? Then what do you have? Plus, he refuses to work, so what good is he to you? Give him to me, and I'll make sure he gets back on track. Fuck. Last fucking thing I need's a rebellion. Damn waste is what he is. Lepron. Fine, take him. Let him be your burden. Then we have a deal. Think you could take him to a merchant in the exchange quarter for me? Name's Fiorello. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? I'm a fucking delivery service. 
Once I drop him off, though, I don't want to see you or hear another damn thing about him. He's your problem now, yeah? Fair enough. Have a good one. Unfortunately, this is beyond my... Hey there. Officer, hello! What can I do for the fine officer today? Check out my merchandise. I have everything you'd ever need for hunting. Day. Care for some merchandise, officer? Hello there. Feel free. civilians away from the plaza it might be safer good point yeah let's ask him to move back citizens gotta keep moving go we're going, we're going! Stay back, keep moving! Screw you! You move! I live here! There may be an attack coming. We're just trying to keep everyone safe. An attack? Why didn't you just say that? We're out of here!
hey there. You're the officer who's escorting us? Damn, we got lucky. Our own technomancer. Name's Nisha. Pleasure. Zachariah Manser. I'll get you where you need to go. Never met a technomancer before. Must be amazing to have powers like that. I gotta say, I was getting pretty worried Aurora would try to attack us on the road. But with you tagging along... We still need to be careful and stick together. Never know when danger's gonna crop up. Based on the threats we received, I admit I was really anticipating Aurora to strike. Their cunning knows no end. Even now, we are still within their reach. The truth scares me. We must get to the exchange. Only then will we be safe. I hope so. The arrogance they show by threatening us. Astounding. By the way, did you read Rick's report about the two new mines found by the Reachers? No, not yet. I'll take a look at it when we're there. We leaving soon. I'm ready when you are. Hello, officer. I'm Simon Judge. Hello, Mr. Judge. I'm Zachariah Manser, and I've been assigned to escort you. Manser? A technomancer? I've never had the opportunity to cross paths with your kind. You're a pretty mysterious group of people. I've heard that your abilities could turn out to be dangerous, even for you. Is it true? It's called a surge. Intense excitement and emotions can make us generate more energy than we can usually handle. It creates an overload. If we manage to keep it in check, the effects are minor, and it can be used very effectively in combat. The result is devastating for anything around the Technomancer. Unfortunately, in extreme cases, it can lead to the death of the one who generates it. Fascinating. That's really fascinating. You are really the spearhead of the armies of Mars. Mr. Manser, I'm ready to follow you. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Listen to... There's been an explosion. There will be wounded there. I, I have to... Are you able to escort these people yourself? I'll manage. Go on. I'll help where you can. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. No. 
Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. We leaving soon? We leaving soon. I'm ready when you... Mr. Mansard, I'm... Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Ah! 
someplace safe. We gotta go, now. We're following you, officer. Trusting you with our lives. Let's head to the north gate. Then the guards can take you to the residence, or the exchange. You're an impressive young man. I've always trusted our Technomancers. Gentlemen, miss, let us dally no more. Thank you, officer. I hope to see you around soon. I'll be at the source. Lieutenant! Everything go all right? Uh, it's been awful over there. They blew up the protection shutters, so we had to evacuate everyone. Yeah, I know. It wasn't just a diversion. It was a symbol, too. Destroy the roof of a rival city, and they won't forget about it anytime soon. That's true. That's some good thinking, Lieutenant. So, are we heading back to the barracks? I'm sure the captain will be wanting your report as soon as possible.
Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Heard you have some merch coming into the station. Need a hand with the delivery? <laughs> I might be a little brazen sometimes, but not enough to turn a lieutenant into my personal errand boy. Except that the shipment holds weapons, and before we get their hands on the weapons, it's gonna mean more danger for my boys. So let me give you a hand, in case not helping out ends up biting me in the ass down the line. Fair enough. Used to be Vori only dirty to slums, but they're like an illness lately, spreading like a contagion. Merce needs to make it up to the station and head out to the front. Thanks for the help. Already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Despite the attack, the officials reached the source. Good work, Lieutenant. All safe and sound at the camp as promised, Captain. You're already making yourself one hell of an asset, Lieutenant. No doubt those officials owe you their lives. You sure as hell earned your pay. Go see the Quartermaster to get it. Our response to the attack can't be passive. We strike fast, we strike hard, and we strike now. ASC discovered that they got in through the Underworks, through tunnels connected to their shadow paths, so that's where we're gonna hit them. Get a rover and Amelia Reacher to drive you there, and wipe the Aurora shits off the face of Mars and destroy their damn tunnels. Failure's not an option. This is a mission of pride for this army, not just for abundance. They struck us in our home. For that, we'll annihilate them. Don't let us down, Lieutenant. During their assassination plot, Roar's diversion attempts destroyed some of our city's roofs, forcing us to evacuate blocks of citizens to protect them from the sun. We need the repairs done, and done quickly. But instead of working on the repairs where they're damn well needed, the fucking mutants have now chosen to revolt. Put an end to it, Lieutenant. Get them back to work so our city can get back to living. Will do, Captain. Before you go, Lieutenant, I want you to know, your professor, Captain Sean Manser, leaving the city for the front. I want to go say goodbye. Thank you, Captain. Appreciate it. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go.
Lieutenant, what can I do for you? So I've got a weapons shipment from Quartermaster Ryan. He needs it sent to the front ASAP. Of course, Lieutenant. Will do. Zachariah, so your captain told you I was heading out, did she? I should be grateful. It is good to see you. Perhaps for the last time. I'm leaving for the front, as is expected. I wish... you could stay longer. Wish that I could as well. If not only to appease my concern for you. But their will moves more than my desire. So they separate us, as they always have. To keep us divided. And... I fear to further isolate you. Stay wary, mindful. You are in their sights, my dear Zechariah. You are the newest initiate, the youngest. And so to them, the most attainable. The shortest route to knowing our secret. <sighs> Such is our world. We are pawns in a chess game played by imbeciles, clinging to nothing but illusions of power. The real power that illusion brings. Take care, Zechariah. Take care. I will. My word. Until we meet again, Master. I'm afraid this is more of a farewell. And it's Sean. Forgive me not. It is always sad to see a friend leave. Especially when you know that he's going to risk his life every day. You must be feeling very lonely. It is up to you to earn a new friend to support you through hard times. A friend powerful enough. Have you thought about my request? What's a little secret shared against a strong friendship, after all? I would be honored to have you among my friends, Colonel. But alas, I don't know what secret you're alluding to. I'm sorry. A pity indeed. Because you will find out, soon enough, while I can be a great friend, I can also be a fierce enemy. See you later, Lieutenant. Bastards! How could they do such a thing? They have no regard for human life! I've been jumpy since the attack. Caught my son the other day. I'm crying. Just for the memory. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this morning? Hey, the oh. I see they got you the mutant. Yes, yes, a wonderful specimen. Words and all. Bag! Mutant! Called! Bag! Beautiful! Yes, Beg! And his sheer size. Like he was simply built to dissuade any ill-intentioned folks from bothering us. Here, here, take this. To compensate you for all you've done. And feel free any time to request any favor in return.
man, nice man, help beg, please? Beg soon leave with Master Merchant. Beg need help, man lightning. I, I guess that I can bring this down, yes. It's a very nice drawing that you made. Yes, man lightning, nice. Give Master to beg. Beg have memory for Mother. Make him some. You go give memory to Mother Beg? Uh, is it me you're calling Man Lightning? Man nice, man very nice. Where are you from, Beg? Have you worked in the pen for a long time? <laughs> Beg not no, several, many nights? Hmm. It's not gonna be easy to get anything from him. Goodbye, Beg. Goodbye. Officer? Yoo-hoo! Officer, could I ask you a favor? Officer Zachariah Manser, a sight for sore eyes. Our hero, brave and strong. I like where this is going. <laughs> well, you know, you were just so nice, and if you wanted, if you had time, I know you're probably busy, but if you did, what? I'm just glad you came to see me. I was just thinking about you. Feel like you're maybe the only guy who could help me. Why? What's going on? I just don't have a lot of friends in Ophir. Never really had time for them, but one of the few I have, Abby Goodsman, owns a stall. She's a great girl. Lately, though, she's been scared for her life. Soldiers have been trying to extort her for serum. They tore down her stall and threatened all sorts of horrible things when she wouldn't pay. As an officer, I was hoping you could find out who these wicked men are, and figure out why they're messing with a good girl like Abby. Please, I'm really terrified for her. If you're positive they're soldiers, that's... weird. Yeah, I'll look into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew you were a good guy. Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a long story, officer. Not the happy kind. Don't want to depress you. I got all night. All right. Okay. You asked for it. I got left alone when I was young. Parents died, so I was forced out on the streets. One of a thousand orphans like me. Did a lot of stuff I wasn't proud of, but had to to get by, you know? Then I got lucky, and the center took me in. Gave me food and clothes and an education and hope and a purpose once they taught me music, and confidence once they told me I was talented. So, when I was old enough to leave the orphanage, I got lucky and met some other musicians who gave me a lot of help. Ended up performing in some bars around the slums. Not glamorous, but I got lucky and it got me here. So, maybe the story's not so sad after all. You're not really like everyone else, are you? What do you mean? kept a level head in the attack. Politicians lost their shit, but you kept cool. Maybe a hard life like mine prepares you for anything. Or maybe I just had more faith in your abilities than they did. I gotta go. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here.
Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Just letting you know, your order made it to the station and is headed out to the front as we speak. And I owe you one, Lieutenant. You don't know the firestorm that would have come down from high command if the Vori had gotten their hands on that shipment. Abby Goodsman? Yes, I... By the shadow, please don't tell me that man sent you. No, your friend Nisha, the artist, sent me. Said she thought you were in trouble. It looks like she was right. I... Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're ruining my life. I'm being threatened by soldiers who tore down my shop. Why? Because they wanted serum I don't even have. And if I didn't give it to them, they said they'd denounce me. For what? I never did anything bad. Yeah, I believe you. You sure they were real soldiers, though? Could have been mobsters in disguise. All I know is their uniforms sure looked real, and their chief told me to call him Sam Ward. He's sick. You hear me? Sick. A brutal... Please help me. The threats keep coming, and I'm telling you, they're gonna kill me. I know it. It's all right. Everything will be okay. I'm gonna look for this Sam Ward. Talk to him. Talk to my captain about him, too. I'll get it worked out. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. <laughs> 